Hey brother, it's Dan with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching today. I wanted to talk a little bit about midlife today. Midlife. Why do I want to talk about midlife? Because there's this point in life, and Brené Brown describes it like this. I've got it up in front of me. No one explains that when you hit midlife, there's an urgent drive to live the life you want to live, not the one you're supposed to live. Right, And so we speak to guys who are currently dealing with something that has changed or so something that is changing. And in particular, it's their relationship that's mostly changing. And so it's a having an effect on them. Their life is changing. Their ability to create what they want in the future is changing. Their access to their children is changing. Their financial situation is changing. And all of it seems to be completely out of their control. So what am I talking about when we come to midlife? Yeah, there's this point where we start re re-analyzing um, revisioning what life is supposed to be like and we start recognizing that I've been living this this life up until now that was given to me or this viewpoint of this life was given to me by somebody else was given to me by my parents was given to me by my upbringing was given to me by my schooling that things should go a certain way you know we talk about this all the time with regards to I'm I'm the I am the dad I am the husband I am the provider I am the grass cutter, I am the dog walker, all these roles that we play without even really choosing them deliberately. We've kind of gone into this automated role and this is what life looks like. And so then somebody, one person in the relationship kind of wakes up or, or has this point in time where they go, well, hang on a minute. Is this it? Is this it? Is there anything else? Uh, I'm not sure that this is what I want. I'm not sure that this is the person I want to be. So when we talk about this, sometimes I talk about it with regards to energy. You know, energy is either flowing or energy is getting stuck. And so in this situation, what's happening, somebody is feeling stuck. They don't have any direction. They don't have any, they're not evolving as a person. They're not growing as a person. And so, yeah, they start rebelling. They don't like that feeling. It's an uncomfortable tension. It's a frustration. It's, yeah, the energy is not moving through their body. They're not going anywhere. And so, yeah, they start looking around. And this is where you start seeing all sorts of strange behavior, like needing space, like feeling smothered, like uh, spending time on their phone all the time, like being snappy and snarky and or closed off, not not being as open, seeming like you're less of a priority to people. So why am I talking about this? Because I want you to recognize that these are signs, these signs that the other person, the other person is exhibiting in your relationship. These are signs you should be paying attention to. But where we normally go wrong is, oh, these signs are signs that I need to grab on tighter, signs that I need to put in boundaries and control the situation and get it back to where it should be as it was before. And I want you to look at those signs and go, huh, what if these are signs that I should be paying attention to for me? Because yeah, midlife is a point where you get to look at everything and go, is this what I want, right? Is this who I want to be? What do I want? Is there more? Could I be more? Is this career what I want? So many people that we speak to, they're in a situation where they're just going through the motions. I've got to this point in my career, I'm only decent money, I've got a decent house, and I'm kind of numb. I don't really have any enthusiasm and motivation, and I'm not going anywhere. And yeah, I could carry on up the ladder, but pff, it's for what? Right? There's nothing really fulfilling. There's nothing really juicy in it for them. And so this is what I want you to start thinking about for you. The questions that you ask of the other person. Why are you doing this? Why are you behaving like that? Aren't we important? What, what about the kids? All this stuff. You should be asking that about yourself. Why am I doing this? What do I want? Is there more? What do you want? This is where we start with most guys. What do you want? And most of us talk about the things that we don't want rather than being able to go, here's what I want. I want more inspiration. I want more motivation. I want more enthusiasm. I want more passion. I want more fun. I want more laughter. I want more engagement in all the different areas of my life. Okay, so that sounds good. What does that look like? What does it look like? Do you even know? Have you got a plan? And I'm not talking about a plan to achieve certain goals because as humans, yes, we do really enjoy having a goal. But the problem is, if it's just a goal to achieve that goal, when you get there, 
Now you've got to find something else or life starts becoming dull and boring. There needs to be something underlying that direction. There needs to be something that is like a purpose or a meaning. Yeah, so meaning. What does give you meaning? When you start getting a good grasp of meaning for you, what does, what does meaning in life mean for you? What it would mean for you to grow and evolve as a human, as a man? Right? What would that look like? And that can be in all different areas. I know I talk about this all the time. You know, with your kids, what would it mean to you to create a specific relationship path with each of your kids? What would that look like? What would it mean to you to create a specific relationship path with your partner? What would that look like? How do you want it to feel? What do you want it to sound like, look like, smell like, taste like? This is really important because if you don't have this information down, you're always looking at somebody else to make it happen. And you are always chasing it. And so you're going to be miserable. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to feel stagnant. You're the person that's in control of your life. You're the person that can make shit happen. And most of us don't realize that everybody else is responding to us all the time. We don't realize how much power and motivation we can give to other people but first you've got to find it in yourself first you've got to be in a stable place being full control of your emotions in full control of your direction and not again because i need to prove it to anybody else or because i should do it but because there's something i'm doing here that is really intriguing me it's really interesting and it's making me want to learn more it's making me want to grow more it's making me want to find out more and investigate more it's, it's it's curious so i want you to be curious about where your life is going and who you're becoming as a man and that is what i love to do and what steve loves to do when we talk to guys is to really get into that who are you like who are you who do you want to become what does that mean for you most of us don't know and it's a really interesting and fun process to find it out okay that's it for today take care bye guys bye